it's Shara. Thanks for stopping by. As I promised, I am here with beautiful Verena and I am going to change her today into the Valentine's um, Day outfit that I <clears throat> got with her. Um, it has all of these beautiful hearts. I am going to keep her red boots. I went ahead yesterday. I wanted to see how difficult or easy she was going to be for me to dress her. So I did put her in the original outfit she came with. She is a Zverganese um, doll from Germany. I got her on eBay and um, she is so beautiful. I just love her. I put her red ribbon in her hair. I left her braid and she's wearing, um, she did come with the cutest little um, actual panties like what I call granny panties, like you would really put on a toddler. Um, very cute little panties. And I'm gonna go ahead and keep the gray and white striped socks because there are um, striped hearts and I think they will look cute. And then I may pop this little, um, this little bolo sweater over it. I think it matches beautifully and I think it will just add to the Valentine's Day theme. So she wasn't too difficult to dress. This pinafore did um, undo all the way down. So you just pop it over the front. I haven't checked to see how the, the romper doesn't do that, but it is sleeveless, so it should be relatively easy. I will take her boots off, but she is so beautiful, and I just really feel fortunate that I found her on eBay because she's exactly the style <clears throat> that I was looking for or thinking about when I decided I wanted to try one. So she is so pretty. So let's go ahead and get her dressed. I think I'll leave her red uh, bow, even though there's not really red in this. Um, there is darker pink, and I think with the red boots, it will look cute and <clears throat> add to the Valentine's Day vibe. So I thought these boots looked so much larger than the um, sandals. They're really not that much larger, but I can see that they would need to be a little bigger to go on, um, to go on, you know, easy enough. And they were actually very simple. So we are going to turn her over. Can you lay on your tummy, pretty girl? I'm still a little, <clears throat> clumsy with her. I have only changed her once, but um, that will come with time. So I love that the dress does, um, or the pinafore is what I would call this, um, Velcro's all the way down, so it was really easy with her straight arms. Now she does have, um, I guess she's considered ball jointed. Um, I haven't really inspected it, but her arms have a, a good range of motion, um, but they are straight, um, just barely a, a bend. So it is a little more challenging, um, but even the shirt went on okay. Um, I can't remember if it, <clears throat> if it, oh, it did. It went all the way to the bottom as well. Now, I'm not positive her hair is human hair. Um, it feels like human hair, but I'm not familiar enough with dolls to know what the quality of synthetic hair is now. Um, or a good quality wig. So it may be, um, it may be 
synthetic. I'm not sure, but it is beautiful and it styles beautifully. The Noodle and Boo worked fine on it. Um, she didn't have any tangles, which also leads me to believe that um, it may be human hair, just the way it behaves. <laughs> so, she is just so pretty. I just really love her. Thank you all for the wonderful comments you left. I just love her little panties. They're just so typical of what you would put on a real little girl, and I like that. Now, I definitely see her as more of a, maybe a three or four year old. Um, I don't see her as older like you would the Blythe dolls or um, the Monster High, obviously are in high school. Um, <clears throat> I think of her as a toddler doll. She's got this little pot belly like a like a little child and she's a little chubbier. Um, she's more like what I think of the American girl dolls. Um, I haven't seen one of those in person but from the photographs I've seen they do look more like a toddler doll. So. All right, so let's see how difficult this one is to put on. So I will not be watching the Super Bowl today, but I definitely want to see the halftime show because I love Eminem and Snoop Dogg and Jay-Z, or no, Dr. Dre. Um, who else is going to be on there? I can't remember who else is going to be on there, but just the fact that Eminem is going to be on there <laughs> makes me want to watch it. I'm sure I'll have to um, probably find it after it airs. I don't have any television service. I don't even own a TV. Well, my son has a TV in his room, but he just watches movies from Netflix. Um, I watch YouTube videos. I don't really watch any TV shows that I can't get on Netflix. So yeah, this is going to be relatively easy to go on because it is no sleeves. Here we go, pretty Verena. I hope I'm saying her name right. I will have to ask my friend Betty, who is, I'd like to know if I'm saying Zverganese properly as well. So I will have to ask my friend Betty, who speaks both um, high and low um, German, which I didn't even know there were two different forms of German. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, let's turn you to this side again. And we will Velcro this. That is a problem with Velcro is sometimes their hair can get stuck, but I definitely prefer it over tiny buttons, which when the clothes are this tiny, you would um, expect that they would put tiny buttons. It's very rare to have a tiny piece of clothing with a large, you know, normal size button and uh, buttons can be a challenge for me. Yeah, I, I don't know about her hair. It sure feels human though definitely feels human but I could not find any information on her on their website because she is no longer available for purchase um, and I and I didn't think to ask the seller so want to look at your aunties and uncles beautiful girl <laughs> I love her she is just so cute okay let's put this little bolo sweater I think it's a, yeah, a bolo. I was going to say it's a bolero, but that's a hat. <laughs> okay. Here we go. And I do think this matches beautifully because there are several styles of, or several shades of pink in the um, romper. This is so cute. Can I put it on the upside down? Let's see 
how will we do this? <laughs> okay, people, what's the trick here? I don't want to stretch it out. It's a knit. Oh, there we go. I hope I didn't put it on upside down. It kind of looks like it's upside down. Oh, I did put it. I wonder it wasn't going on right. Oh, my goodness. See, I make more work for myself, Verena. I definitely do that. Okay. Let me... I didn't put it on upside down. The button's at the bottom. Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, let's try it again. Let's try it again. Mommy is just silly. Oh, my gosh. This hair is so beautiful, but definitely going to take my have her all the way off camera. <laughs> oh, my goodness. How is mommy going to do this again? Your hair is all... Maybe I should start clipping her hair out of the way before I start um, changing her. I think that would be um, a great solution to her hair getting um, tangled up in the clothes don't want that okay I think it's on right well it is because the bottom is oh my gosh how cute I love it there we go gorgeous all right let's get your boots on I probably will not try to tie them on camera. I'll just leave them undone and I'll uh, tie them off camera because, well, it's not very pretty. <laughs> they are so cute. Oh, I love it. I can't wait to stand her up and show you. So I think she's going to stand opposite corner of Dave over on this side um on the changing table and um above you know on the ledge above and that way i can look at her every day and she's got a more prominent spot oh my goodness okay let's let you sit up and we will brush your hair fix your hair bow so pretty you are so pretty. She actually has quite a bit of hair, but do you see how tame it is? That's what makes me really think that it is a human hair uh, wig. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. I think I'm gonna use the comb instead. It's kind of staticky here. Um, let me um, spray a little bit of the water and noodle and boo. I really, I really think I'm going to start because um, it did get a little tangled, but it seems to be coming out just fine. Um, I think I'm going to start putting a hair tie or something uh, to pull her hair back while I'm changing her, just so her hair is not flapping all over the place. There we go. Gosh, it's so beautiful. Look at this. Can you see how shiny it is? And it's got so much body. And um, I love the cut. It's very, very beautiful. I love it. I can just sit here and brush it all day long. <laughs> so pretty. Do you see that shine? Oh my goodness. Gorgeous, baby girl. It's gorgeous. Yes, it is. You see, it's so long. 
so pretty. Okay, she is ready. I am going to position her standing up so you guys can see her in her entirety. Hold on one sec. Okay, guys, so here she is looking so adorable in this romper with the hearts all ready for Valentine's Day. She does look super cute with the boots and the red hair bow. I think it looks perfect. And um, her little uh, bolo sweater, all of it just looks beautiful. And I kept the beautiful hair clip on her braid because the color and it is sort of pink and it matches with the different shades of pink so Dave is over here saying hello to everyone this sweet little face and um, thanks so much for stopping by and seeing this gorgeous girl get changed I didn't fumble too much and I'm so happy that she actually came with this outfit that's perfect for Valentine's Day. And I will tie her shoes, but she looks so appropriate because toddlers frequently have their shoes untied. So, all right, friends. So again, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will attach some photos of her in her original outfit that I took yesterday. And then I'll attach some of this outfit that I put on her today. So stay tuned for some photos. As always, friends, we are sending you wishes of love and light. Take care.